For those of you who have enjoyed my War on Neuroscience series, I've got a couple quick shout-outs for you. First, Michael Payton, a cognitive neuroscientist who debated William Lane Craig. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, Dr. Craig is that smug in real life. Has a YouTube channel now. I've linked his channel and a couple of his videos in the underbar. There are two videos linked in the underbar dealing with William Lane Craig and two dealing with Veritas 48. Now before I tell you about Oliver Sacks' new book, I want to assure my viewers that Mr. Payton, or is it Dr. Payton, I'll just call him Mike, is much nicer to Veritas than I am. Check out how he sweet talks Noah. Hi, this is Dark Eudemonia with a response to Veritas 48, or Noah. Um, actually, great video with the Kalam cosmological argument. I can honestly say that you actually do a better job of explaining these ideas than Dr. Craig does. Um, especially liked the point about not being able to get through an infinite series of past events to actually get to the present. I can quite honestly say, again, that I never fully understood that point when Dr. Craig would explain it, or even when Leibniz would explain it, but I did understand what you were getting at, and that's something to be proud of. The ability to communicate is something very important, obviously, especially in forums like these. Noah's argument against actual infinities reminded me just a bit of one of Zeno's refuted paradoxes. But do not fear. Mike quickly puts aside the metaphysics and takes the argument into neuroscience. My main problems are with premise three. It's really actually the linchpin of everything. Um, I suppose if all of your other premises are true, then still all of the heavy lifting with regards to God is being done by premise three. That is the idea that the cause has to be an agent. Um, now the idea that material minds can exist at all is to me impossible. It's basically a really bad idea. And I think there's no actual metaphysical difference between agent causation and what you deem efficient causation. All decisions, indeed all thoughts, seem to be the products of our physical minds. And simply because we cannot pin down a particular neuron uh, does not mean that they do not exist as physical phenomena. Dr. Oliver Sacks has recently delivered the manuscript for his new book, The Mind's Eye, to his publisher. It will be out in the fall all across the world. What is noteworthy is that if you have watched my uh, War on Neuroscience series, Part 3, you heard about Dr. P. Well, Dr. Sachs has come across another patient like Dr. P. Her name in the book will apparently be Lillian. And like Dr. P, she's another professional musician.